Yo yo guys, how are you all doing? So I'm just going to be doing a quick review on this CeraVe as a smoothing cleanser. So let's start! I bought this product at Chemist Warehouse and this retails for $20 and it contains 236 ml and it is fragrance, essential oils and drying alcohol free. This product is a BHA cleanser for face and body to gently cleanse, soften and smooth out rough, bumpy skin and dry skin prone to redness. It is suitable for people with dry, rough and bumpy skin, also suitable for skin prone to keratosis pilaris. The first main ingredients of this product is salicylic acid, which is an exfoliant and also has anti-inflammatory properties that can unclog the pores and penetrates deeply to break down the keratin bumps that have built up around hair follicles on the skin. And we have ceramides that can help prevent further moisture loss and also helps to create a strong and healthy skin moisture barrier hyaluronic acid which is very good for hydrating our skin and niacinamide that can boost collagen production to improve skin texture this is a packaging this is plastic and it comes with a pump and it's really very easy to use and on how to use it, it is said to gently massage it onto wet skin and some people leave it for like one minute on their skin but for me, I cannot leave it to my skin for more than 20 seconds because it will damage my skin barrier. I left it for more than 20 seconds and yeah, I really damage my skin barrier so be careful and see how long you can leave it onto your skin. Maybe see how your skin can tolerate it but yeah if you are new to it maybe don't leave it for more than 20 seconds just to be safe you only need a pea size amount of it to cover your whole face you can use it once or twice a day it depends on how your skin can tolerate it the first time that i've used it i use it like two to three times weekly because i damaged my skin barrier the first time that i've used it so i try to be careful so see how you goes with this product although this is a very gentle cleanser but if you don't use it properly to your skin yeah it can definitely cause damage to it especially if you guys have sensitive or rosacea prone skin so what are my final thoughts about this product? I really really actually loved it. Even though the first time I've used it, I damaged my skin barrier because I've used it incorrectly. Like I left it for more than 20 seconds and my skin wasn't able to tolerate it. Some people can leave it for one minute. During the first time that I was I am using it, I use it for two to three times a week and maybe after a month i was able to use it every day only once daily i've been using it for two months now and i am loving it and it goes a long way i haven't even used half of it even though i'm using i'm using it every day now because you don't need to use a lot of this product i'm only using it on my face this is a very good product if you want to gently exfoliate your skin and what I've noticed is that it helps in smoothening and evening out the texture of my skin and also helps in brightening my complexion. It, it really made a difference in the appearance of my skin. It makes it look more healthy and smooth. And also after using this product, I will use a hydrating toner and a moisturizer. I don't use my tretinoin straight away i will like leave on the moisturizer for 30 minutes and that's when i can use the tretinoin because it might cause irritation to my skin but we all have different skin so see how your skin goes with this product but yeah i would highly highly recommend this this is a very good product yeah but beware for people with sensitive and rosacea prone skin see if your skin can handle this product so that's it for today's video thank you thank you guys for watching and i haven't uploaded for a month now i'm very very sorry and thank you for supporting and subscribing to my channel thank you thank you so much i appreciate it so much thank you thank you and see you again in my next video